Hello, I'm back again for another braces update. Um, I had my orthodontist appointment yesterday morning and it was really quick. I just went in there, sat in the chair, the orthodontist came out, asked how everything was going and I told him I didn't really see much progress. You can still see these teeth are still not properly lined up. So all he did was give me a stronger rubber band. I had this bare one that he gave me six weeks ago and apparently they're two weeks so he got me this impala. I didn't even know that was an actual animal. The impala one which is just like a thicker rubber band so I still have to wear 24 7 and I do still have to wear these kangaroo ones as triangles on my right side at night just to keep that side correct. But it's going to be another six weeks until my next appointment in late May, which will be one full year with braces. And everything looks pretty good. Just these teeth need to line up and my midlines are not lined up. Yeah. See you next time. Today's going to be a long day of travel. Um, I'm in Sacramento right now, and then I have a flight to Salt Lake City, and then another flight to Minneapolis, and then a flight to my final destination, which is Aberdeen, South Dakota. It's going to be a long day. I think I land just before midnight. Then I have work the next day at 8 a.m. See how this goes. So it's about 1.40 in the morning and I am still in Minneapolis, Minnesota. There was a roughly three hour delay from our flight from Salt Lake City to Minneapolis. Apparently there was some like really bad, really gusty winds so they had to divert the plane that was supposed to 
PR is going to Minneapolis. I'm going to Salt Lake City. They diverted it to Las Vegas. So, as a result, I missed my connecting flight to Aberdeen, South Dakota. So I had to adjust my hotel, my rental car, book a hotel here in Minneapolis. Just landed at like 12.30 a.m. Got to the hotel around one, took a shower. I'm just gonna try to sleep. And the next flight out to Aberdeen is 11.30 a.m. And then the shuttle runs on the hour, so I'll be taking the 9 a.m. shuttle over there. They're nine or 10, probably nine. I'm just checking in and hopefully there's no more delays and I get to Aberdeen this after, yeah, this afternoon because it's technically Tuesday now. But yeah, I'm here at the Four Points Sheraton by the airport or a couple miles away from the airport. And yeah, I'm gonna try to get at least a few hours of sleep before I have to get back on a plane. <laughs> it's been a long day. But at least it's only technically 11.45 in California, so it's not super late for me. It gives me a little bit of a tour of my room, it's not that big. Here's the entrance, there's a little place to hang keys. Here's the bathroom, I just took a shower. They have these little dispensers for the body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. I don't know. If I like that or not. I don't know how sanitary that is or how often they even clean that. Got a king bed. Look. Closet. Coffee station. Safe. I guess there's no fridge. Yeah. Got these cubbies. I don't know what they would be used for. Pretty nice TV. Luggage seating area and outside there is a Honda dealership nice all right time to rest <laughs> Here's my rental car for the week. I have a Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. It's kind of dirty, but it's fine. I'm staying at the Town Place Suites. Here is my hotel room. They upgraded me to a two bedroom, two bathroom suite, which is completely unnecessary since it's just me. But it comes with a full kitchen, a huge bathroom. Moving on to the living space with like a dining room and everything. Wow. Let's see. And another room. I don't know which one I'll be sleeping in. <laughs> and another big old bedroom. Just for me. Which is cool, man. Maybe I'll sleep in both beds over here for three nights, but that's kind of gross. So here I am in Aberdeen, South Dakota. It's very flat here. You can't see any mountains in the distance. There's my rental car. There's a Target across that main road. Hampton Inn. I don't know what's over there. But cool. Just went to Target to pick up some snacks, got some hot Cheetos, and I guess what I'm gonna have for dinner is this broccoli cheddar pasta, I guess, and some White Castle sliders. I've never tried White Castle before. We also got some Hershey's chocolate cream pies, because why not? I also got some water, because I need some for the week. Mm -hmm. I went to Maverick Steakhouse, which is a place that one of the people at the place I'm working at this week recommended. I just got some shrimp fries salad and I didn't know it came with bread, but it comes with bread. 
but I will also be microwaving some of these white castle sliders. So, I'll be eating this with the shrimp salad and fries. This has been my friend this whole week. Uh, I also got a beer at the Mavericks place while I was waiting for my food to be cooked. And it was only $3 and they didn't have any happy hours. So I was just like, oh my God, it's so cheap here. Cause I'm sure that oatmeal stout would have been at least like $7 in California. Yeah. Maybe I'll go back there tomorrow. <laughs> I got these pies on Tuesday and I'm leaving my flights at 5 a.m. So gotta finish them tonight. It's a fat day. Cheat day. Might as well make use of all the TVs that I have. today so I just went to my orthodontist and got my wires taken out so this is what my teeth look like right now without the wires my cleaning is in about two hours <sighs> this side is still looks pretty messed up mm. this side still looks pretty good can't wait to get my teeth clean and then I have an appointment with my orthodontist after my cleaning to see what else they can do about this. Maybe I'll get new wires, maybe a rubber band formation. We shall see you later today. So I just got out of my dentist appointment and apparently I have my first cavity. He said it was on my right canine and then the tooth next to it uh, has the possibility of forming another cavity. So. That sucks. I've never had a cavity before, so they want to schedule me for a filling sometime late next month. And they said my copay is going to be around $80, $79.20, I think. But yeah, that sucks, man. I've never had a cavity before. What they said other than that, my teeth look okay. I can't see anything wrong with the teeth. So, I don't know. I haven't felt anything at all. But yeah, I have like another hour and a half until I get my wires put back on and or and have my orthodontist adjustment. So sad news of the day, I have a cavity. Sucks. Okay, so I just got out of my orthodontist appointment. I also set up uh, my appointment to take out my wires when I get my filling done in early July. Um. He said, the right side's pretty much done. The only thing we really need to take care of is my midline. And then my bottom teeth are still kind of crooked, but they want to take care of the midline first. Um, pretty much what they did, they made some bends in the upper wire um, because he likes what the midline is on the upper teeth. Um, so he made some bends. I don't know really what that means. It stabilized the top and then it'll give the bottom a chance to move. And hopefully that gets done soon. <laughs> okay. So I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and bought some pancetta. Or no, prosciutto. I bought some prosciutto, bought some asparagus, got some baby spinach. My mom had bought these potato latkes from Trader Joe's and they're really good. See what else we got here. So these are the potato latke pancakes. So good. Got some cheese pizza. Got some tiramisu. This is all Trader Joe's. Got my potatoes. I got more of these yesterday. These are good. What else I got here? I got mushrooms. 
I got some smoked salmon. Yeah, pretty much been eating all Trader Joe's lately. I also got some carrots that I will be cooking at some point. Yeah, toaster oven and baby frying pan have been my friend. It's just been this and eggs for the past two days since my parents have gone to New York. They're gonna be there for three weeks, so I'll probably be going to Trader Joe's a lot. My mom marinated these chicken thighs for me to use in the air fryer, so I'm trying it out. Gone through all the instructions and we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully good. After 25 minutes, this is the final product. It's pretty good. Nice and crispy. Here is my finished plate. Got some prosciutto wrapped asparagus, some smoked salmon and spinach, and some air fried chicken. Some leftovers in case I'm hungry again. <laughs> At the Residence Inn, Rockland Roseville location. It looks exactly like the one in Cupertino. Got a king bed. Little space. Your luggage. Bathroom. Oh, this one actually has a moving door. Because some of the newer ones don't really have that door part. Oh, and it has these communal soaps and shampoos, which is kind of gross. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I'm still full from Koji Kitchen. Maybe I'll go to the mall, or maybe I'll go to Target. I did forget my toothbrush, so I do need to get one of those. But yeah, there's just another hotel across the parking lot. And they're 65. I think Top Golf is like next block over. I don't know if I'll go. But yeah, not bad. So pretty much the only reason I booked this hotel room is because I have a Marriott certificate that expires at the end of this month and I don't know when else I'm gonna use it. I'm here for a baptism for Markville and Goldie's second daughter which is in Roseville. This is like right next to Roseville, so I'm just here. Even though I would rather be at home, might as well just use my certificate since it's worth apparently over $200 to stay at this hotel tonight. I'm still a little bit full from lunch, so I just got some appetizers. Um, shrimp in a blanket and fried squid. I went to the Nugget Market and got a campfire stout. And then I'll just watch the rest of this basketball game, which looks like Toronto is gonna lose. It's the Game of Thrones series finale today, so I'm watching a bunch of old episodes. I think I'm in the middle of season one here. And I'm gonna start on this puzzle that Kevin got for Christmas for our White Elephant Exchange. So, I'm gonna build Westeros and Essos while watching Game of Thrones until people come over to watch the series finale. It's gonna be a good day. Here's what it looks like on the inside. There's various castles and apparently over 800 pieces here that I'm going to start putting together. Oh, there's more castles. And even more castles. All right. Let's throw some S's. Oh, so the first layer is the map. 
The second layer is the topography. And it tells you where everything is, where all the cash flow should go. This will be challenging for sure. First layer of this Game of Thrones puzzle. Only took me a few hours. It is now Wednesday. I started on Sunday. The second layer was a lot easier. The pieces are a lot bigger. Now I just have to use, I guess, this double sided tape to adhere this layer onto the first layer and put the little castles inside here where all the white spaces are. Almost done. Here is the finished product. Game of Thrones 4D puzzle. All the castles, or all the main castles. The iron balloon in the corner here. Essos. Cool. You can hear someone doing donuts. a huge hole in my blanket so I'm in the process of sewing it together. Shout out to YouTube for showing me how to do this invisible stitch. Pretty easy too. This is my first attempt of trying to cook lumpia that my mom has frozen here in the freezer. This bag. Um, I think I put too much oil because it's not supposed to cover the whole lumpia and it's like almost covering it so I put a little bit too much oil but we'll see how it turns out as long as I keep it in the oil for at least 12 minutes apparently it'll cook through so hopefully it gets crunchy and all that by the time the 12 minutes pass see how it turns out it's been a successful first attempt at cooking lumpia minus this one that like burst open maybe I cooked them too long probably cooked them for like 20 minutes <laughs> Just to make sure, because I feel like they weren't golden brown enough at 12 minutes, so I cooked it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be eating today and tomorrow. I look forward to it. Got the sauce.